As you all know, I've been posting a video every day for like the last 80 days or so, and I've been sort of having wrist issues because of it. I have tendonitis in my upper body everywhere because of my autoimmune conditions, and I've told you that in previous videos. Because of that, I've been kind of thinking about trying to outsource some of that video editing work. So I hired three different video editors on Fiverr and tested out their services to see what it was like. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I paid to each video Video editor what they did for me and then how I feel about the results and if I will use Fiverr for video editors in the future I'm gonna keep this kind of anonymous on here I'm sure that if you do a little research you can figure out who my video editors were on Fiverr but I'm gonna leave it to be anonymous because I'm not trying to do this to promote any particular Fiverr user or anything like that and I'm not an affiliate of Fiverr I don't make any money off of this video all of the videos that I sent to the editors were roughly the same length about 10 minutes and they were roughly the same level of difficulty and editing they were video vlogs just like what you are seeing me talk about today where I did talks teaching different things about art business and art tutorials and things like that. The first editor I'm just going to refer to as Video Editor A. He was from the UK and he charged me $20 to edit my video. And it took him about three days to get it completely edited. Now, when I hired him, he said that he could do it in one day because this was my requirements for all the editors was that they could edit one video every day all month long for me. So they'd have to be able to turn them over one a day. And I thought $20, well, maybe I could afford that. It'd be a stretch, but I don't know what editors cost on there. So I wanted to try out different price points, but he did great. Um, he did exactly what I needed him to do. And the only change I had with the first video editor was that the sound was very edited. Um, he made it louder, which was awesome because I know my videos are kind of quiet sometimes because um, I'm recording them with my iPhone. But when he did that, he did like a denoiser and a dehisser over my voice and it made me just sound like I was speaking through a tin can, which I really hated. So I had to send it back for an edit, which he totally was happy to do. He took off the all the effects and sent back the video and it was perfect. Although it took longer than I wanted to and it was a little bit more expensive than I have the money to pay for. So then here comes the next editor this one's editor B I this guy was from Pakistan um, he was not a very experienced seller on there so he was willing to work for less he was willing to edit my videos for $15 a piece he got back to me right away he did all the edits that I wanted um, I, but I did have to send it back to him for a couple of adjustments the main thing that he had problems with which took eventually three days to finally deliver my video was that he couldn't um, put the file as an output that was large enough for YouTube to look high definition and I kept having to give him exact directions in Adobe Premiere Pro of how to do this because I mean I know how to do all these things in Adobe Premiere Pro but like I just need somebody to do it to save me the wrist effort and the time right <laughs> so I'm, I've been editing my videos for years so I know how to run the software really well at least for my needs um, uh, and so <laughs> anyway I was, I was giving him like directions and telling him how to do it and so finally when he actually listened because three or four times he didn't listen and didn't do what I said finally I got him to actually do what I said and then he exported the video properly and I got a video that was great and usable but it was a lot more effort on my part with this you know editor B because I had to give him directions myself on exactly what he needed to do and how to operate the program also my intro I don't know if he was if he had a modern copy of Adobe Premiere Pro because he couldn't do my, my motion graphics that I provided him as my intro he couldn't get those to work on there properly um, so he had some issues so that's why I decided to go with a third person and give him a try editor C was also from Pakistan because what I found out on Fiverr is that the people from Pakistan will work for less than the people from anywhere else at least that was my experience in the video editing area because this time I was like okay I'm gonna find the cheap cheapest editor that I possibly can and just see what he can do compared to these more expensive ones. And this guy um, didn't have very many reviews. He wasn't very experienced of a seller on there, but he seemed like he could do the job. His profile said that he worked for the university there in Pakistan. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try this guy. If he works at the university, what, what harm could it do? And he said that he would edit my videos $5 a piece if I would give him five a week. And so I was like, okay, I can do that. So I paid him $25 and we he edited five videos for me. So I got to see a lot more of his work and what he could do than the other editors for the same price. And he was an editor that if it worked out would be something that was totally in my price range. Like I could pay $25 a week 
um, for somebody to edit, help edit my videos. That would be awesome. <laughs> so I was really excited. And he's a super nice guy. He would get back to me whenever I would message him. He would get right back to me, even if it was in the middle of the night over there, which I kind of felt bad about, like I was waking him up in the middle of the night. But he was like a real go-getter. So I was like, this guy's going to be great. And, and at first he was like the first couple videos he edited for me were good. I had to give him a lot of instructions, um, not on how to operate Premiere Pro, which was great, <laughs> but on how to get the video editing right. But what I found out was that he also had a problem listening to directions. Like I would give him an exact directions, like, like leave every clip of the video in order, just, you know, by the name and then, but then he would move them out of order. And I think he was trying to do it to make what he envisioned for the video um, be more concise or something, but it's not how I wanted my video to be. And so it was hard to get him to actually listen to my instructions. And uh, But I went ahead and I decided, okay, I, I kind of like this guy and maybe I can train him. So I bought another pack of five um, for the second week and he edited all those videos. When it came to editing things like video like this one that I'm doing where I have a lot of talking, I think there was a language barrier because he would cut off my words sometimes where it sounded like I was speaking broken English <laughs> and, and, and I know it was the language barrier because he was a great editor but I just think that he didn't quite understand the the this the message I was trying to communicate and and how like I'm kind of a giggly laughy person and I don't want all that stuff cut out because then it makes the delivery seem dry kind of so I think he didn't quite understand me as a personality on YouTube and, and what I'm trying to the message I'm trying to get across with my YouTube channel and how I'm trying to be real on here right I don't think he qu I, could, I couldn't communicate with him about it I, I tried really hard to and so some of that failure because I look at it now as a failure um, some of that might be my level of being able to communicate to him what I wanted so all in all I would consider all three experiments failures because now going from here on out I'm just going to edit my videos myself I've realized that hiring the editor and communicating with them through Fiverr a whole bunch like it just took more time than it would take me just to edit the video right to begin with <laughs> and so it's like you know cost and time versus reward and not having to click quite so much it just really wasn't worth it for me the other thing I learned though is that there is a vast price range on Fiverr and just because somebody is a cheap editor on there it doesn't mean they're not a good one so my recommendation to you is if you're trying to think about hiring a video editor on Fiverr and you might be if you're watching this video start out with the cheaper editors first and see what they can do and then start moving up in the price range if they can't do what you need because if you have like really basic video editing needs some of these five dollar video five people they will do it you don't have to pay the 20 50 some of the people charge like $200 to edit one video on Fiverr and I, I truly believe it's not worth paying that extra money because my $5 editor did every bit of as good a job as the $20 editor uh, editor a um, but the only thing was is that he just didn't quite get the get what I wanted the vibe for my channel and it was just hard for me to communicate it. And I think any video editor would probably encounter that, you know, if you consider they're not you, you know, no one can put themselves in my mind and edit the video exactly the way I want. I'm really picky. <laughs> so, I mean, knowing that about myself, I should have known that going into it, that it probably would be a failure. But if you're not too picky, um, or if you need like business videos or something that doesn't necessarily have to show you as a personality, but just needs to get the message across, one of the $5 cheapest editors on there will probably do a good job for you. <laughs> At least that's my experience. So yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on video editors. And if any of you guys have tips for me on where to get a cheap video editor, <laughs> that would be awesome because I suppose I'm still in the market for one. I mean, you never know. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.